Hello everyone, it's Ben Frenzy, and today I have another rant topic to discuss with all of you. And of course, there will be more rants to come. Today I am going to be ranting about the second half of 2020 LEGO Star Wars sets. Now before I get any further, I just want to say most of the sets are really good in this wave. But there is two things that I am not really happy about especially if lego s continues to do this with star wars for starters most of the sets were uh, at least ten dollars overpriced not all of them but a lot of them and you could say that that is because of inflation which would be a valid argument and that would be okay with me but lego has been giving us way too few minifigures for these sets and if price is going to go up i expect them to stop dropping the amount of minifigures and sets and give if anything give us more than we've normally gotten to make up for that ten dollar adjustment and the two sets that are the biggest culprits of this are the cantina and the 501st battle pack no 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 no, no guys I'm, i was just kidding with those two sets they're they were priced super fairly and they have a really good amount of minifigures. The sad truth is that most of the 2020 like late year Star Wars sets were not priced fairly and did not have a proper amount of minifigures in them. And those are the sets I'm going to be focusing on. And now I'm going to rant about all of the sets that ripped us off with minifigures and did not justify a $10 inflation. And there are also a couple of sets that were more than $10 overpriced that I am also going to rant about those prices. And you guys probably have a good idea of what a couple of those sets will be. I'm going to start off with a questionable one, which is the ITS transport vehicle. It's a Think 932 pieces and only a hundred dollars and you always have to add like 10 to 20 more dollars than you would expect for Star Wars sets depending on how big they are because of the licensing stuff. So this is one of the sets that has no issue in price but it does have an issue in minifigures. I mean four for a 100 dollar set really the reason this is questionable is because I this is a Galaxy's Edge set and I know little to nothing about Galaxy's Edge so there is like no other potential minifigure that could have been added like if these are like the four main characters of the game maybe some antagonists I don't would have been nice but since I don't know much about this Galaxy's Edge stuff I am not really going to focus in on this set just want to put it out there for those of you who are better informed. The next set I'm going to throw a fit about is the Knights of Ren transport ship. And this set, I mean, the $10, it should probably be $60, but I get the licensing and inflation stuff, so it's not a terrible price. But there could have definitely been more minifigures to make up for the less iconic and interesting build of this set and get that lego has to make it more expensive to get uh, enough of a profit but there should have been more minifigures like i don't know first order stormtroopers and maybe i don't kylo ren just some other minifigures beyond the two knights of ren and a figure you can get, get in so many other sets so if this set had some First Order Stormtroopers, I would not have ranted about it in this video. And I know you guys have been waiting for me to talk about this set, General Grievous' Starfighter. Now before we get into the ranting of this, I want to say that the build itself is practically perfect. There's no, I don't have it yet, but so far I don't know of anything that is flawed about it. But what is super flawed about it is the price of $80 for something that's not even 500 pieces and a lazy minifigure selection. For starters, good minifigure selection or not, this set should not be anywhere over $60.
And minifigures, I get why they stuck with an older Grievous because it works. But Duel on Mustafar Obi-Wan, no. Get rid of those burn marks. That is a, such a lazy move. It wouldn't be that much of an inconvenience. But no, like why would you do that? And nothing bad about the Airborne Clone Trooper. But they should have added a Phase 2 Commander Cody in addition to these other three figures to help justify the price and make the minifigure selection that much better. This is pure laziness. LEGO only made the time to do the Airborne Clone Trooper and of course they could keep Grievous. That is fine with me, but Obi-Wan, like, he should not have the duel on Mustafar burns. Obi-Wan did not fight Anakin on Mustafar before before this scene happened and his robes were perfectly fine before then and again they should have put a phase two commander cody people really want that figure to be honest i don't really want a phase two commander cody so badly but i do want a fourth minifigure for how much money i'm going to have to pay to get this set because i do want it i want that grievous and airborne clone trooper if this set only came out for $60, I would still expect a fourth minifigure, but I would be a bit more lenient towards this minifigure selection. If you're paying $80 for a set this size, then you should expect the most from LEGO. This set should have more, and LEGO did not deliver beyond the really nice build of the Starfighter. The at, at is another really good set that has been bogged down by lack of minifigures and a high price. Let me put the price into perspective for you guys. This set is $160. It is less pieces than last year's Millennium Falcon, which is also $160. And that, I would also argue, might be $10 overpriced. So... That's $10 overpriced, then what does that say about this set? The at, -AT is an iconic vehicle, but the Millennium Falcon is so much more iconic, and this should have been cheaper than that set. And although you guys could make an argument telling me that the last year's Millennium Falcon was not overpriced, this set definitely is. This set is also lacking snow troopers. There should have been more. There's only two. There should have been at least two other snow troopers to add to your armies. If this set had at least two more snow troopers, I would think that the price would be justified at 140, maybe even 150 dollars. But the 160 dollars is way too much to ask for this set. The last set I am going to torch today in this video is the Razor Crest, which I think is the biggest culprit out of any of the other sets. In fact, I made an entire rant video just repeatedly slapping it in the face about its high price and lack of minifigures. I consider IG-11 a minifigure, but Baby Yoda is a micro figure. He is not a minifigure. He should not count towards the minifigure quota of this set, which should have at least seven to eight minifigures. Even if Baby Yoda did count as a minifigure, this is still not reaching the quota of minifigures that this set should definitely have at $130, which is... By the way, I think is a price that was inflated just because of this one micro figure, Baby Yoda. Go more into depth on that in my Razor Crest rant video. I know there are two Carbonite elements in the set, and although I would consider the Han Solo and Carbonite as a minifigure rather than an accessory, these two Carbonite elements do not count. They are just normal pieces with a sticker on them. Carbonite is not a sticker. So, yeah, it's not a figure of any type. It's just a piece with a sticker on it, and that's honestly really cheap. And unlike the Resistance ITS Transport, this set definitely could have had more minifigures. These minifigures include Queel, who is a glaring absence, a second scout trooper. I mean, there were two that are important to the show with the ones that were debating and stuff. Could have also included a scout trooper speeder. Kara Dune, she was in the ATST, but it would have still been a good option to put her in this set. And maybe a Stormtrooper. See, 
there are all of these options that Lego could have gone with. They just chose to be lazy and give us the bare minimum. Now, if this set had six plus Baby Yoda, that would be much more forgiving. Could maybe Lego just counts Baby Yoda as a figure of high demand, so I would be much more forgiving about that. But no, they gave us the bare minimum of figures and kind of bothers me that they, for the most part, got away with it. Before you guys leave, I need to explain to you guys why this is relevant. For starters, the short term, obviously, you're having to pay higher prices and getting less minifigures. The long term issues are even worse. Lego has been doing this very subtly for a while now. Some fairly recent sets I can think of that definitely ripped us off on minifigures are including but not limited to the most recent Sandcrawler, the 20th Anniversary Slave 1, and this year's Sith TIE Fighter. I mean, here we are in the end of 2020 with more than half of LEGO's Star Wars sets being priced higher than they should be with less minifigures than we should be getting for those prices. And it is ridiculous. This... This is going to become a regular thing, then I am very concerned about the future of LEGO Star Wars, though I'm sure the sets will continue to be great builds. None of the sets I complained about in this video had anywhere near bad builds. They all were really good, so I am happy about that. And in all honesty, this problem might have been fixed by lego already next year sets are rumored to be very very cheap i know the piece count is going to go down drastically and while everyone is complaining about this i'm actually pretty happy about it this will be my first chance to get some of the sets and though other people may hate the next wave at least we can all probably agree that the sets will, are not going to be overpriced at least with the information we've been given and then maybe with these lower prices, the minifigures will be much more justified and much less lacking. And with all that ranting, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out my other rants, particularly the Razor Crest, where I go more into depth about how that set was lazy. And you should definitely check that one out. That video will be linked in the description. And if you guys liked this video be sure to subscribe for more rants and reviews and all of that stuff and of course wash your hands and have a great day